I like the Rando a lot, it's pretty fun. It's nice to play TP again. I still never got another shield. The only shield I got is still the one I bought from a shop. I hope this works. Did it? I don't know. Who Who's really to say if it worked or not? You'll have to make your own decision on whether or not it works. Oh, come on. Quit wasting my time. No. Come on, I should have made that. I think can squeeze through there. I was scared that was Aura's memo. Okay, the sketch. Uh, the sketch only gets me... What is that? Is that just for the reek fish scent thing? I don't think that's for anything important, right? Where's the other chest? Yeah, just for the earring check. Running on the ceiling fast like this is very satisfying. Need to see how many checks there are. Okay. And none of them will be master sword, probably. No. Dude, I was trying to do... <laughs> I was trying to do the air refill glitch, but I was so used to using it with magic armor earlier that I paused instead of <laughs> more feel moment. Because <laughs> I, I, I had to do it with uh, magic armor for so long that I was used to doing it with magic armor and then I forgot to do it with iron boots. Not like dying in TP punishes you. SVA. Or the SVA look alike. Oh my god, I finally got an Ordon shield. That is my first non store bot shield in the run. And it didn't even go in my inventory because I have wooden shield. How do hints work in this randomizer? They don't exist, except for uh, telling you what dungeons you need to beat. Oh wait, did my shield just randomly change to Ordon shield? Nice. Still shows wooden shields. Please, someone give me Master Sword. Helm Splitter. I mean, it's kind of cool. Is that everything? That's every check. Surely the boss will have Master Sword? Okay, well, I don't know if I can do much more of any dungeons. I guess I could beat Lakebed now, but I don't... I feel like going to Lakebed just to beat more feel isn't going to be worth it. Fast Iron Boots actually make this fight really easy. Like, I mean, it's already really easy, but this is easier than uh, even in normal, just because of Fast Iron Boots. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure it's like spinning the stick slower necessarily, it's just like the... the <laughs> okay. The act overall has to be slower. <laughs> okay, that was that was really funny. Okay, please give me Master Sword. Nice rupee sound? What was that for? Oh. 
Oh wait, so did I not get... Oh yeah, so I didn't get any reward. I didn't even get a mirror shard. That's fantastic. I mean, not that I cared about a mirror shard, I guess. You got a master sword from Agatha. Alright, I'll go back and check Agatha. I need to check Agatha. I need to check... Uh, go back and check Sacred Grove stuff. And then... After that... I don't know. I'd love it if Master Sword is like in Malomart. That'd be fantastic. There's a bomb bag. Has some of you guys not seen that? The legendary Malomart in TP? Is that new to some of you guys? I'm surprised at the number of people I've seen in chat today who said they've like never played this game or never even seen this game. I mean, I guess it's getting old now. But, uh... Dang. Makes me feel old. Ah, one more. Yeah, just this. Surely Master Sword will be in Sacred Grove. It'll be semi-vanilla. Semi Worst location for Master Sword would be probably Palace of Twilight because um, to get to Palace of Twilight, I need to be I need Ars Memo or no to beat Palace of Twilight, I need to beat Arbiter's Grounds. To get to Arbiter's Grounds, I need Ars Memo. So if it was like, let's say it's Zant's Heart Container or something, I would need to beat all of I need to find Ars Memo, go through all of Arbiter's Grounds and all of um, Palace of Twilight. Although there should be four Master Swords, I think, because there's also the Light Sword. So I think that means there should be two of them left that I can get. Oh yeah, I guess I couldn't do Palace of Twilight without Light Sword. So I guess it can't be like Xanthar Container. But they could be, let, let's say, the last two Master Swords. The two progressive Master Swords are like the last two checks in Palace of Twilight before you would normally get Light Sword. Wait, then what was the item that was just in front of the... Oh, wait, is this... Oh, no. Was that randomized, or is that normal? Yeah, the sketch for the memo, that's just random, right? Okay. <sighs> Please tell me it's just in the desert. Please just be in the desert and not in Arbiters. I don't want to go to Arbiters. Okay, how much do I remember? I think there's a grotto over here. I know there's a lot of checks in the desert. Still going? Well, I'm still going because I was at one check away from go mode like three hours ago. And I thought, surely, I will be done soon. That Hylian shield? Okay, can I get the good sword that goes with it? Master sword? At least I have fast spinner. Can I jump this? Nice. Sixteen hearts in rando. Okay, I think if I get to Arbiter's Grounds, I'm gonna check spoiler log. If I don't find it before entering Arbiter's Grounds. Beetle. Where's the bug? Oh wait, is it, I think it's down here? Yeah, it should be down here, right? There it is. Is that? There it is. All right, finally. Good thing I didn't miss that bug. Sub 9 coming up? Absolutely not. It's not I go to Ganon now, it's I go beat Temple of Time and then I can finally go to Ganon. It wasn't the last thing I need to be Ganon, it's the last thing I need to do a dungeon. Oh yeah, Hylian Shield and Master Sword, both in the desert, that's nice. Right before I was going to check Spore the Log too, there were only like, I don't know, three checks or so left before Arbiters, and at that point I was going to just say I'm looking at Spore the Log. No, Butter Sword you only need for Palace of Twilight, I think. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so I should only need the boss key. So hopefully I just end up finding the boss key early. 
uh, literally like a minute ago. Oh, that is convenient. Okay. <laughs> Finally, the seed's a bit nice to me. After everything, after everything we've been through. I'm stupid. I'm double stupid. How many layers of stupid can I get? Oh, I almost reached stupid level three. This is the best Goma iteration. You don't like OOT Goma? You don't have fun memories of OOT Goma? Yeah, that definitely shouldn't have hit. That last arrow was way too far off. That's not the bow. A key. Yeah, I guess I did have to beat the boss to access the main portion. Sound like she said deal with it. Where are all the swords? We'll check Spore the Log after to see where the last sword was. I bet the last sword is gonna be something really easy and I actually got the hard swords. Oh yeah, I did skip Zora Armor in Logic, so I gotta check where Zora Armor was. Let's see, is there a key door? There is a key lock on that. Okay. Guess I gotta do all Hyrule Castle. Wait, is the boss key and small keys randomized in Hyrule Castle too? It probably is, isn't it? Oh no. I do not remember any of the checks in Hyrule Castle that are not standard required chests. Mortal Draw. I do not remember the last time I've done this side of Hyrule Castle. Alright, this must be a small key, I think. That's not a small key, oh my god. Giant wallet, oh boy. Really need that. A lantern that turns off the rain. Okay, so this, I'm pretty sure, must be a small key. Alright, cool. The very last check I can do before entering the main area is a small, is a small key. All right, so this must be a small key, I think. All right. I am missing the boss key to Ganon's castle, which there's only one possible room it can be in now. Actually, is, is there even a point in skipping this fight? No, I think I can skip this fight. You can skip this fight by uh, claw shotting the fire right in front of... The fire has like a gate in front of it that you can claw shot right in front of the door. But... Uh, since I need to go in the other room for the boss key, no point in skipping this way. Which chest is the boss key? How many tries for the boss key? Oh, speaking of the music breaking, my headset just broke. Oh my god.
Is it gonna be the last chest? What a seed. I wonder what try Zelda I'm gonna get. Oh, Zelda's guaranteed seven cycles, okay. Nope. Okay, I got that. Ah, uh, the pots. It's just like an old TP thing where because you have to wait for Zelda during that phase because there's like, it's all just RNG. Sometimes TP runners would um, just mess with pots. All right, is this the strat? Okay, I think you need more than just a single hit. I know TP Hundo does a strat with the uh, rare chew jelly there. Okay, cool. I couldn't press buttons. I tried to jump slash and then I accidentally put my sword away. And then I was like, okay, wait, why don't I just do more with draw again? And then I accidentally took my sword out again. Ending cutscene with magic armor. I'll do, yeah, I'll do magic armor and iron boots for the ending cutscene. Okay. What a nice little rando. Yeah, nice little sh short rando. Sub 10 hours. I knew it was going to be decently long since I'm rusty at TP, but I didn't think it'd be that long. But uh, Master Sword also kind of screwed me over. I mean, I'd like to do this again someday, yeah. No, not seed 2. Although, now would be the time to check spoiler log. Alright, you guys want to see the log and see where... So there's one more sword, so I had a different option for Master Sword. So... I'm really interested, uh... I'm really interested on where the last sword was. Let's see, where is... The last progressive sword? Forest Temple, Central North Chest, I got that one. Gudo Desert, Female Dayfly, I got that one. Snow Peak Ruins Lobby, West Armor Chest, got that one. Temple of Time, Armos, Antichamber, Statue Chest. So, the last, the last sword was inside Temple of Time. So, I did not have four options for Master Sword, I had three. So that's fantastic. Oh, wa watch the thing here. It's funny. Because he's running. Although it's less funny when you just watch 10 hours of rando where Link was already running fast with Iron Boots. Okay, what else should I look at, look up in the log? Uh, Zora Armor. Where was Zora Armor? Hyrule Castle, Treasure Room, Third Chest, Link Shot. Wait, did I miss a chest in Hyrule Castle? Bubbling Camp, Back of Camp. Okay, so... Okay, so in logic, I guess I was supposed to go... Iron Boots, I was supposed to get, I was supposed to go Bombs, Iron Boots, Goron Mines, Ashi's Sketch, Aru's Memo, Desert, Master Sword, Zora's, uh, Zora Armor, uh, and then go to Lake Bed, get Ball and Chain, finish Snow Peak. So Snow Peak was supposed to be the last dungeon. Although it's at, it's probably good that I did it the way I did because if I had to go up to like pretty much right in front of Arbiter's Grounds, I would have just done Arbiter's Grounds. So, in terms of like mentality, how I'm going to approach a seed, I either would have done all of Arbiter's Grounds or I would have done all of City in the Sky. So it's like <laughs> it kind of was going to be as long as it was, no matter what. Slingshot was apparently in Ganon's castle. It was like the single chest I missed in Ganon's castle. 
That's what people were saying, at least. Or Hyrule Castle. Okay, anyway. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. No, I'm not watching all the credits. Bye.